Crunchyroll is the best anime streaming services around that gives you access to both anime and manga all in one place. The best thing about Crunchyroll though is that not only is it free, but it requires no sign up. Unless of course if you know you want a ad free experience like you're watching on YouTube just now. But there's one big problem with Crunchyroll, it's geo restricted. For example, I was looking for Death Note and I get this error saying sorry this video is not available in your region due to licensing restrictions and it's the same in case of all popular animes like Hunter x Hunter, Erase, Full Metal Alchemist and much more. Now there's no website to actually tell which country Crunchyroll is you know geo restricted and not but I did try it manually and boy you wouldn't believe it. So this page reveals all the animes available on Crunchyroll and in my country the shows are embarrassing. 142. Now let's switch to the US server using SmartDNS Proxy's VPN and open Crunchyroll in a private browser. And as you can see the list is pretty much exhaustive and if we can count the number down it's more than a thousand. Thankfully you can still bypass this geo restriction and gain access to Crunchyroll all by just changing your IP address using a VPN and then going to Crunchyroll.com and searching for a show that you want to watch. Let me show you how you can actually do it on Android and computer shall we? On your Windows or Mac computer, open Crunchyroll website and search for the show that you want to watch. For example, search for the show Death Note and you'll notice that this show is not available in my country. Open SmartDNS Proxy's VPN and set up a combination of US, prefer a smart VPN server as they worked well. Now come into the browser and open Crunchyroll's website. It's important that you try incognito browser or clear the cache from your previous browsing. Now again search for Death Note and you'll see that all the episodes of Death Note are there. Also a quick tip, if you want to see the English dub for the show, scroll all the way down to the bottom for that. Once you start the English dub on PC, you'll be able to see it on your TV as well. While searching for the dub, it's not an option. In case Crunchyroll is detected by the VPN, switch to a different US server or contact SmartDNS Proxy's support team. To get started, take out your Android first. If you don't have an Android smartphone, you can use an iPhone. The steps are pretty much the same with obvious differences. Moving on. Firstly, download the Crunchyroll app from your Play Store. After downloading it, open it, you'll see everything's working fine. But the shows actually show are very limited. For example, search for Hunt Hunter, it's not available in your country. So let's start with a VPN. So for that, go to SmartNews Proxy's VPN app and select a United States combination and turn it on. And after this, reopen the Crunchyroll app and now search for Hunter x Hunter. You'll notice that this time the search list is totally different compared to the last search. Now you can open the show and play it without any hiccups. So that's how you gain access to the full Crunchyroll catalog no matter where you are. In the free version, you can get only HD and you know there's an ad break every 20 minutes, which is not bad considering you know people are used to YouTube and you watch an ad every 15 minutes or so. But if you want an ad-free experience, it's about $8 for a subscription, which is not terrible, but if you've got a bunch of subscriptions like Netflix, YouTube, this, it can pile up. Speaking of piling up, check out SmartDNSProxy.com if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content like Crunchyroll or other stuff like Apple TV+, Netflix, Hulu, what have you. There's a bunch of those streaming services. You can unlock all of them using SmartDNSProxy's VPN for about 5 bucks a month, which is bugger all, yeah? Like 50 cents a day, not even that much. I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching and if you're new here, subscribe because we put out a new video every other week and if you click on the bell icon, you'll get notified every time there's a new video. It's about 5 minutes of free content and useful at the same time. See you in the next one.